Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Down to Earth episode 145 to 146. I am sick, so I'm not turning on the camera for this month of reading. Uh, but due to Webtoon's new policy, I do have to blur 50% of each episode. So yes, cat logo is going up or else my channel will be taken down. But for anyone out there who do want to support me, I do have all my readings on my private channel with no censorship, no cat logo blurs, and you also gain early access to my read. They're all available on patreon.com slash ckt-chaotic. Let's go ahead and get started. <gasps> oh, here. Uh, I'll take care of this. Go take a five minute break. Uh, thanks. I'll take you up on that offer. Duh. Last time we talked. Even if you two were dating, you don't own Miss Seda. She can do as she pleases. Sure, he really pisses me off. I just can't understand your relationship with to her. You're not dating, yes? She's not related to you, no? Yet, yeah, you're so protective. He always pestering me. Why can't he mind his own business? I'm not sure why she need to give a fake ID, but I know she wanted to work here, so I'm paying her under the table. I'll make sure she's all right. As long as you don't make a scene, of course. Why did he hire Zay if he knew her ID was fake? And why is he blackmailing me? Why does he want to know my relationship to Zay? Did he somehow find out about Zay being an alien? What's his motive? Ugh. Ugh. I feel so overwhelmed i feel so overwhelmed oh my life has certainly changed here on earth with new changes comes new challenges i suppose <laughs> i have friends to worry about a secret to keep to everyone and now a romantic relationship that i do not wish to lose it is a lot easier than what i had to deal with on zodia I feel so free, sometimes a little too much. But regardless of what happens, I will be happy as long as I am free. Bing! Oh, that's probably Susie. I didn't respond to her last message. It was rude of me to pester her. I will wait until she returns home to talk about it. Oh, are you finally awake, Cosmo? It'll be a while before Cade returns. Oh, that's so cute. Let's go look for snacks. Meow. 5.06 p.m. New message from Delilah. <gasps> Delilah? He's covering the register today since Susie isn't here. He would usually give me both tasks. What's with an overly nice act? I really want to know his deal. He's probably trying to mess with me. I can't. Don't. I can pretend to play nice too. If I'm on his good side, there's nothing to worry about, right? Hey. The closer we are, the more likely I'll figure him out. We should go see a movie again sometime. Yeah? What? You wanted to hang out more, right? Uh, before you got aggressive with me, yeah. Oh, um, yeah. So, do you still want to hang out? Uh, uh, -uh. Sure. Let's hang. Okay, cool. What's up with their faces? <laughs> it seems waiting for Kay to return makes the day feel longer. It is hard to focus on anything. I am so anxious of how he will respond. Cosmo, do you think Kate still wishes to be with Delilah? Bing. Four new message from Delilah. 
four, and it's barely seven fifty four p.m. Huh? Did she hear me? Down to earth, man. They? Um, I'm home. Kay, you were home before the sun left. Yeah, Stace let me off early today. He acted really weird. That's nice of him, though. You get comfortable and I will make some tea. So, you had an okay day at work? Yeah, certainly an interesting one. Phew. We should probably talk about it, yeah? Mm. Uh, I have a question, but I am scared of the answer. I think I know what you're going to ask, but lay it on me. Do you still have feelings for her? Uh. Delilah? Oh, <laughs> that's not what I thought you were going to gonna ask at all. Uh. Is that a yes? What? No. I can't seem to let go of our past together. But I'm not in love with her anymore. Uh, it's complicated. Kind of like you and your home planet. You had bad history together, right? You'd never want to go back. But the memories cling to you. And it hurts. And for some reason, I can't let go of the past. But I'm working on it. I think when we first met, if you would have asked me then, I would have said yes. But now, I feel confident about being happy without her. Uh -oh. I'm so sorry. You're having to get wrapped up in my mess, so... This isn't something you should worry yourself over. And I'm so sorry about our... our moment. No, I want to apologize. I feel like I have... I may have pressured you. Huh? I lost myself in the heat of the situation. Wait, you feel like you pressured me? A little. Zay. <laughs> if it were up to me, I'll repeat yesterday over and over again. Uh oh. Oh, that sounded creepy. Uh, well, I do have another question. I need to clarify something, since I am new to this. Are we dating now? Uh-oh. -uh. This is the question I was expecting. Zay, when I finally drop the past for good, uh, I'll be in the, a much better headspace, and it wouldn't be fair to you right now to get together while I'm still stuck in the past. I still have a lot of progress to make. I want to move on, but I want to do it on my own. I don't want our relationship to feel like a backup plan. When we decide to change our relationship to lovers, I want it to be completely genuine. For the first time in my entire life, I don't want to rush things. You are very special to me, so I want to do this right. Please believe me when I say I want to be with you. I regret nothing from yesterday. My only regret is the timing. You know, my feelings for you are true. You can see them for yourself. You can be with anyone you choose to be with, say. But if you'll wait for me, I'll be a very happy man. Oh. I will wait for you, Kate. I am so happy Cade wants us to be together, but I hope the wait isn't too long. I suppose it would give me time. Delilah. Hey, Zeta. Been a while since we last chat. How have you been? You still modeling for stinky spen spenders? Hey, this is Sunnen, but are you free to hang out sometime? To learn how to be a good partner to Cade. Down to earth. Okay, well, one, I, I know Zeta was being nice to Delilah and they traded numbers and they chatted and stuff, but why is Delilah suddenly wanting to hang out with Zay for, you know? What is she up to? 
and I don't think it's a good idea. I never think it's a good idea for like new girlfriends or potential new girlfriends to see the ex-girlfriend because I felt the ex-girlfriend, obviously Delilah has still has some sort of possessiveness with um, Cade. It's just, I don't know. I just like, yeah, I know she will find her way to sabotage the relationship or, you know, just, ugh, I just don't trust her. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed the way I read and react to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, check out my other reads, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!